Longtime watchers of this channel probably know that music is my first love, but what you may not know is that I recently jumped back into the music world and started writing and producing again. In fact, I just released my first single about a month ago, and I created this lyric video in DaVinci Resolve to put on the YouTube channel for my music. Let's take a look at how I did it. Okay, let's take a look at the footage, which is actually two videos that I created using Kyber AI. The first one is just generic shots of a band, and the second has a lot of shots of funerals, since this song that I released is largely about survivor's guilt. Now, since this was a lyric video, I didn't want the background to distract viewers from the lyrics. So instead of trying to do any kind of cinematic timeline, I simply placed one clip on top of the other, headed over to the inspector, and changed the composite mode of the top clip to overlay. This gave me kind of an abstract composite of my two pieces of footage, which is what I was going for, but I wanted to be a little bit darker and grungier to reflect the inner turmoil of the lyrics, which is something I knew I could accomplish in the color page. So I created a compound clip out of my footage and headed over to, you guessed it, the color page. Again, I was looking for dark, gritty, and abstract, so I wasn't worried about getting any kind of accurate or cinematic grade. All I did here was bring down the overall temperature, increase the density of all of the colors using the new color slice tool, and use the film look creation to create a really dramatic and overdone film look. I was really happy with the results I was getting at this point, but it felt like I could get even more grittiness in the background. So I headed over to today's sponsor, Motion Array, to see if they had anything that could do the trick. See, Motion Array is this huge library of assets for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, you get the idea. They've got everything you need, like effects, templates, stock elements, even music and sound effects. And it's really easy to find what you're looking for too. For example, I wanted to find some kind of gritty overlay. I just had to head over to stock elements, choose overlays and titles, and I had a bunch of stuff to choose from. So if you're looking for nearly unlimited assets to help you complete your video projects, and let's be honest, who doesn't want that? Just click the link in the description below this video and check out Motion Array today. <laughs> that rhymed. Back in DaVinci Resolve, I created a new video track and put this 8mm film damage overlay that I got from Motion Array over my AI footage, looping it until it covered the entire length of the video. From there, I created a new compound clip out of the 8mm damage clips and changed the composite mode to overlay. This gave me the dark and gritty feel I was looking for, which meant it was time to move on to the subtitles. Now, the unfortunate thing about DaVinci Resolve's native subtitle feature is that you can't animate them. That being said, they can still be useful. Let me show you what I mean. First, I transcribed my song using the audio transcription tool in DaVinci Resolve Studio. This was actually the first time I had ever transcribed a song in Resolve, and I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised at the results. From there, I created subtitles from the audio transcription, which gave me a good start when figuring out where I needed to place my animated titles along the timeline. From there, I used Text Plus to create my animated titles, utilizing the outline, shading, and the write-on effect. Then I headed to Fusion and added a camera shake effect that I also got from Motion Array, and I ended up with this. If you want to watch the full lyric video, I'll have it linked below, or you can check out this video to learn about some super easy effects that you can do in DaVinci Resolve. But either way, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.